Teresa with Crafty with Teresa. Thank you for joining me today. Welcome to my November 2021 sheet load of cards. In today's video I'm basically going to be doing some Christmas cards. I've attached the sketch from Call Me Crafty Owl where she has given us the design and I've created eight cards from that design. I'm a big fan of Craft Your Stash, so I wanted to show you the cards I made, plus you will see a few tips along the way. Now let's get to crafting. I did go by the sketch pretty close in this particular set of cards. I made eight because that's how much of the card stock and the pattern paper that I had available. So that worked out great. I got eight more cards. The paper that I'm using here today, this basically this watered colored swirly look, is paper that I created several weeks ago in a Frugal Friday video where I actually created this paper with alcohol inks and shaving cream. And you'll see that in the Frugal Friday video and I'll link it for you. But basically I got 11 backgrounds and this is one of the designs that I decided to use, that particular background. I also used it in my October, but I also used it in this video. So I made one change to design and that was I decided I really liked that paper and I didn't want to cover it up very much. So I put the sentiment on the inside. It's a new stamp from Close to My Heart this year and I just love it. It's the script and it's the swirlies and it just makes me think yay for Merry Christmas. So I put it on the inside and I really love it. So I wanted to show you a tip that I learned the hard way. So I was planning to use this crafty wire. Um, I think it's actually used in floral arrangements, but I decided I would use that for that little messy look behind my focal point, which in this case is my poinsettia. And I've got this gold crafty wire and I wanted to take a chance and see how, if I could incorporate that into this card. So I tried through trial and error several different ways to make that work. It's a little more bulky than I thought. So the first time on this card, I actually popped up the middle section and then tucked the wire underneath that popped up area and then just added some extra glue. It did work, but it's very bulky. So then I tried another way and basically what I did is I tucked it underneath the poinsettia and again just put the glue around that area similar to what you would do if you were crafting and put some hot glue just put a lot of glue around the wired area behind it again still very bulky and did not feel comfortable that that would stay in place so finally, my last tip and the best way that I found to make that particular crafty wire work was I put some really strong double-sided tape, score tape, and I actually have a video where I've talked about score tapes and it's called Tape It Up a Notch. And I've talked about different ways to use that and I don't know why I didn't think of it in the beginning, but here we are. And so I actually put the score tape, I cut the wire in half because it became bulky when I tried to make it a full circle, so I made it half circles, made it a little bit more lighter, I feel like that looked a little bit more gentle anyway, and I tucked the wire on the back side of the poinsettia, and then after I put the wire on it, I put another set of tape over the top of that and then the third option I did on top of this to make sure it's secure is I glued it very good around the wire. That worked great. So trial and error, learn from my mistakes and that worked great. And so here's the last card that I made. 
using that particular tip and it is very secure and I'm very happy with it. So I will not be going through and talking through this process, but I left it in the video this week. I'll play some music and show you how I put this card together. And then I'll be back with you when I'm finished. Enjoy. Thanks for joining me today. If you haven't, if you aren't a subscriber, I would love it if you would subscribe. And if you hit the notification button, you'll see new videos as they come in. Until next time, have a great day.